used to do yoga, I was really into it. I would get like a buzz. I would get like a high, mm. you know, I would get this high what from it. What is that? What is that? Yeah. That, that to me is like the chi or it's the energy. It's almost like the kundalini rising. See, I would, I would get this like buzz and I would really feel it like in my, in my pineal gland, my third, my third eye. Right. And that's where, that's kind of like the whole idea of yoga is like, you're kind of connecting with the, the universe or the, this oneness of consciousness. And I just was really into that consciousness yeah. and, and I was connecting with what like this Christ consciousness and it just, it was all false. Like it's all false light. And, that's the hard thing too. Cause I think you were talking about just a little bit ago of like, there's people that are like, they claim themselves as Christians, but they're like maybe doing the tarot or they they have the crystals or whatever they're doing. Um, and a lot of people aren't connecting to the biblical Christ. Okay. They're connecting to the antichrist that's presenting itself as Christ, right? That's yeah. why it's so tricky. And that's why it's so deceiving is because he's kind of perceived as this hippie, go with the flow like like you know like he's seen as this like new age jesus there's a completely different uh, yeah you know there's a difference between the new age jesus and the biblical jesus of the bible <laughs> i mean and when you start reading the bible you're like wow like okay i see clearly <laughs> these two different versions of what christ is it's like new age kind of picks out what they like about christ Mm -hmm. from the bible and leaves out the part of like sin and and repentance and you know like really yes. like sanctification and laying yourself down but they have counterfeits for it which is things like shadow work or you know like ego deaths you know that could be kind of seen as sanctification or shadow work is kind of like a counterfeit of um repentance you know and you know laying those things down and yeah plotties is good yeah uh, uh. <laughs> And yeah, I don't that is really that topic, your core. I don't want to push that topic too much, but maybe I do need to think a little bit more about that, like trying something like Pilates, because I know that yoga buzz that you're that you're talking about. Yeah. And you know, as baby Christian, it's like there's still a lot that we're figuring out. And yeah. you know, it's a, a journey. I like the phrase, while well, salvation happened in a moment, sanctification happens over a lifetime. And God continues to smooth out our edges and show us more and more, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like he continues to reveal like himself more and more. And like, I feel like we just grow closer to him and closer to him. And like, the more we're growing closer to him, the more we're being convicted of the things, you know, that, exactly. and that, is, a, that is a process. Like, and there's like no shame. I want to say that here. Like if you find yourself like doing something like for me, I would also do a lot of sensual dance in new age. I was really into this, mm -hmm. like, you know self-pleasure and all this stuff and like I was being convicted yeah. of this like I was I would do it and I was like and I would hear like I would feel and hear the Holy Spirit saying like you don't need to do this you know like please stop doing this you know like but it was always gentle he uh, the Holy Spirit Jesus Christ will never make you feel shame like he but he will convict you and you'll feel like this almost oh, it's one of my favorite verses too I um in the Bible where it talks about like it produces a godly grief, which leads into repentance. And I can't think of what it is. I want to say it's like Colossians three verse 10, maybe, but don't quote me on that. <laughs> wow. Like, you, you took a shot though. You might be close. I don't know it. I'll have to look it up. <laughs> okay. Yes. I wish I, I can't look it up because it's on my phone, but mm -hmm. anyway, yeah, that's what it kind of did to me is like, I would just be doing these things, um, like these still new age practices. Cause it was, I had to kind of like wean myself off of it. Cause like these were habits that I had formed and yeah. I had done it for so long that I was like, you know, still doing the yoga poses, still doing the meditation, still doing, um, just other things like the self pleasure kind of things like that. Mm -hmm. Like I was you doing that to manifest whatever yes, I wanted. I, you know, <laughs> like I want to ask you because you know a lot of people will be doing these things and not understand like like why it's bad, like why they have to give it up. Like it seems like something so innocent. Like for instance, inner child healing, um, stuff like this. It sounds very innocent, but we know you know Satan can twist things just a little bit, and it's a slippery slope. The minute you start to believe a little lie and just how quick you can tumble. But I don't know, maybe you can speak to that a little more about like why like the sensual dancing and stuff like this, like how it's actually dangerous for our soul because of what's happening at a spiritual level. Right. Yeah. 
So basically those things are like kind of tied into like the central dance, for for example, like, and it's more like, it's more like the energy you're kind of connecting to. Whereas like when I was doing the central dance, I was really connecting and I would call upon goddesses. It was a form of idolatry. So I would be calling upon these goddesses like Isis or, um, Kali Ma and I was like using mm-hmm. I would allow I was giving them consent every time I would call upon them I was giving them consent to link up with my spirit and to dwell within me I was yeah. giving consent to demons to dwell within me and they were leading me in this lustful way lust I was lusting after my own self yeah and I was just like obsessed with my own body and like my like and I was posting naked pictures of myself on my yep. on Instagram or I was like <laughs> central essentially dancing on instagram you know like that those kind of things god does not want you to do that you know yeah. he he loves you so much and you are a pure child of him and that's that's leading you into bondage it's bondage um and so it can give you this like that's what i thought it was empowering me and i thought it was freeing me like especially in regards to my body image i was like i'm so free i can share my body on the on my naked body on the internet that's so liberating like yeah. like in that and satan will make things like that feel really good it feels yeah. good to do those things you get that little high and that's what a lot of like new age is and that's why so many i see so many addicts are really drawn to new age is because like if you've suffered from any kind of addiction, you're really going to be lured by new age because it's and it's an addiction. Um, getting yourself into these elevated states of bliss, like through doing the central dance and feeling so connected to like your sensuality. And it tells us specifically in the Bible that in the end times, people will be lovers of self, you know, yes. rather than lovers of God. And we are, it's worshiping ourselves and we're doing that central dance and we're like, we're idolizing ourselves, you know, we're lusting after ourselves and we're like basically worshiping ourselves as God. Um, yeah. So that's where I started to feel very convicted. <laughs> I was just like, Oh my, like, what am I doing? Like at the time, like you said, it feels so good. It feels like it's pure. It felt like it was liberating and empowering. It, yeah. yeah. It felt like it was bringing me closer to God. You know, that's what I thought, but it was actually leading me further and further away from him, you know? Mm-hmm. And I think that can be so hard for people because it does feel good. And but you in new age and in this culture and in this society, we worship, we idolize our emotions. We Mm -hmm. idolize our feelings, you know, and we think our feelings are it that we should listen to them. Like follow your heart. I always was teaching in new age, like your heart is your internal GPS and your emotions are your GPS. Listen to them. you know. And now I'm like, no, your emotions, especially if you haven't been born again in the Holy spirit, your emotions are going to be deceitful and Satan plays on your emotions. He manipulates your emotions. He's a master manipulator. And if you've been emotionally abused, like with narcissistic abuse, hello, that's something I suffered from mega from my parents. Like, and yeah. we just live in a narcissistic society and so, so many of us are so used to being emotionally and uh, narcissistically abused that we can't even see that when it's happening, you know, because we yeah. see it as a form of like normal behavior, you know? And so we can't discern when we're being manipulated emotionally, especially, and Satan will emotionally manipulate you. He'll get you like into these states of despair and like make you hate yourself. And like, especially if you struggle with self harm or anything, you know, like he's really going to. Yeah, he's going to play on your emotions. Like if there's something you're struggling with, whether it's a relationship or, um, you know, it's self-image, like he's going to make you feel really bad about yourself. He's going to make you believe that people hate you or that you're no good or that you're worthless, you know? And then that leads you into, this is where I got really into the inner child healing. And I started doing these things because I thought they were helping, but it was like, it was almost like it was bringing me into this high you know, and I would feel these really high emotions of bliss and excitement and joy. Whereas Christ, and this is where you can really tell the difference. Christ is steady. He's even, even, he's even keel. He is the same today, tomorrow, and yeah. forever. He's unchanging. He's unwavering. Whereas Satan, it's like, you can go on this emotional roller coaster. Yeah. <laughs> you know? it's like He can get you all worked up or make you feel bad about yourself. But then you go to these, you go, cause he is like, He'll give you the, the, the problem, but then he'll also give you the solution. Mm-hmm. And that solution are these new age practices that get you into this high and you're feeling this elevated state and then you crash back down. 
you yeah. know, and then you get really high again, you know, so I always see it as like an addiction, you know, but yeah. it's keeping people hooked 